AAX is celebrating their one year anniversary by holding competitions, events, and airdrops all month long. Make sure to stop by the website and check it out. I'm giving away $100 of Bitcoin in the month of December with the Holiday Stash Giveaway. All you have to do to enter is like and comment on videos from now through the month of December, and a winner will be chosen on December 25th. Good luck, stashers. Secret Agent Stash Secret Agents, welcome back. We're here at Secret Agent Headquarters, as you can see, where we are always start off and you know, I, I, it's, it's so bright in here. I gotta put these Secret Agent uh, shades back on just so you guys, so, so I, can, I can handle, I can handle the brightness. Uh, but thank you and welcome back here to the Secret Agent Stash show. Uh, I do this show every week on Thursdays and it's all about blockchain gaming. Let me see that one more time. Blockchain games. That's right. Nobody. If you guys, do you guys know what blockchain games are? Is there are there any blockchain game fans in the chat? If you're in chat and you love blockchain games, or you've even played a blockchain game, drop an emoji for me so I know. I want to kind of get a little bit of an idea of you know what your guys' experiences with blockchain games. This is a show, a, a weekly fun show, where I disguise myself as a secret agent and I change, I go into different disguises every time I play a game because when I infiltrate these games, I don't want anybody to know it's me. I don't want them to know I'm a secret agent there infiltrating their game and showing you all the cool features of what it has to offer. So that's what this show is all about. We talk about blockchain gaming, what it is here to begin on, and then we'll dive into today's game after we change disguises and get into a new disguise later here uh, very soon, actually. And then we can jump into the game because we can't. I can't get into the game until I have a new disguise on. This is just my secret agent outfit. Like I can't go in wearing this. They, they would they would spot me right away. Look look, there's Stash. That's secret agent Stash. We know that guy. But if I can get into these games and I can disguise myself. I can play without anybody knowing it's me. So that's what we do here. So we talk about blockchain games and why they're important and why you should be paying attention to this because blockchain gaming is the new frontier for games. You know, there was the, the 10, 12, 15 years ago, no one had really heard, probably maybe a little more than that at this point. <laughs> no one had heard of free to play. Free to play was not a thing. It was nothing was free to play. No games you could really uh, play for free. Not any big games, but free to play has really become the mainstay. And uh, you know we've seen that with all these you know the major games. That's a, pretty much how most of them work. Is a lot of these major games are free to play, and they upsell you on skins, right? Which you may be familiar with if you play a game like uh, Fortnite or CS:GO or Valorant or you know any of these other games where you can get customizable uh, aesthetic. Uh, assets that you know don't really give you any in-game advantage but they make you look cool in the game right or you could win them maybe or uh, through a tournament or maybe you got them through through being a part of a really cool event for that game but the problem here that is a systemic problem in gaming and one of the things that blockchain gaming actually addresses is the fact that you can actually extract that value when you're done with it so what what does that really mean like what do you mean extract value so what that means is that, you know, when I buy skins for a game like Fortnite or I buy skins for another game, uh, I don't actually own those skins. Those skins are owned by Epic. As much as you think, well, Stash, no, I paid for them. I own those skins. They're mine. No. No, you don't. You don't own those skins. Those skins are sitting on a centralized server, and that server is owned by Epic Games. You have paid for the right to use them in the game but you do not own them. And so what does that mean? Well, why is it a big uh, you know, a deal to own these skins? Well, because then you can trade those skins, right? If you look at what the difference here is between most of these games that you're seeing right now that people are playing, in particular here on Theta or on Twitch, that maybe you'll see people streaming, you know, they don't own the skins there. There's very few games that actually allow you to trade the skins and items that you earn inside your game. One of them is CSGO, so they actually you know, have a really good and you know, in-depth trading system, but it's still very limited too with what you can do 
with that system in general. So, uh, you know, w one of the great aspects of blockchain gaming is that you know that you own these assets. You, the, you, you, blockchain gives you true item ownership over your assets. So that's one of the biggest factors here. And that's one of the things I love about it is that I would much rather spend my time in a game where I know I own the assets, right? So I, I can go and sell them in an exchange later. So I can say, hey, you know, if I spent, you know, uh, uh, 200 hours playing a game and I, I was grinding all this time and I got all these, these great assets and I, I you know, I, I won all these great prizes maybe in certain events, well, you know, if I get done with that game, I'm just like, ah, you know, I've moved on. Now I'm playing uh, Cyberpunk 2077 now. I'm not playing Fortnite anymore. You know, I, I switched now. And so I, I want to play this game now or, or I'm playing something else. You know, with a blockchain game, because you own the assets of that game, you can then go sell them and get some value back out of your t from your time there, right, from you, or, or your investment there. So that's a pretty big thing. So when you talk about, uh, you know, investments and investments of your time, thus far, gamers have invested countless hours into games with nothing, with getting nothing really in return except for, hey, it was a great game. I had a great experience. It was fun. But we're entering into a brand new era where your your time is going to be able to allow you to remonetize that or at least bring that value uh, in, in different ways. So that might might mean... Uh, selling it in a marketplace. So you say, hey, maybe I bought this for 10 bucks. I can at least maybe sell it for 10 bucks. Maybe it's less. Maybe you're only selling for five, but at least you're getting something else out of it, right? Versus what a centralized server would be like, you can't sell them at all. So you're not getting jack shit. <laughs> so there's a big difference there of, of how games work now and how they can, they're already starting to work here when it comes to blockchain gaming. Another really exciting aspect of this is uh, through uh, companies like Engine. And Engine is a company that allows game makers to quickly insert blockchain uh, elements into the games they're developing, right? And in general, not only can you then sell those items in a marketplace to be able to get value back at them. So maybe you're, you're in a dungeon and you find a really sweet sword. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is like the best sword ever. You can go sell it in a marketplace for profit, right? So, you can, so you're essentially monetizing your time. Uh, but then you you could be, there's also a, a, another aspect to that uh, called the multiverse, and that's something really cool that Engine is working on. And this is a concept that is not new, but is being pioneered by Engine and other companies too are working on something similar, where uh, it's kind of a Ready Player One style, where you have these these fluid uh, universes that are all connected, and all the items and your character and everything flows from one universe to another. So the you know the inklings of this and the startings of this is the fact that on the engine platform, this blockchain based platform, uh, there's game items and game assets that you can get that you can use in multiple different games. So you could use it in, we'll say like the six dragons, but then also be able to use that in, in a game called Bitcoin Hodler, and then also be able to use that in my metaverse, and then also be able to use that item in Lost Relics. So having cross game items. So even if you're like, oh, well, I'm done playing this one game, but man, I could take my items from that game that I was playing and now play in this other game. So blockchain gaming has a lot of, of advantages over traditional gaming because you can actually monetize your time. And in today's game, Axie Infinity, which is a, I, I would say it's kind of like a Pokemon style with breeding. So it kind of meets CryptoKitties, if you know CryptoKitties. And Axie Infinity is a game where you can earn things uh, by playing. You can earn, you can play to earn, which is a big thing we talk about here all the time. Play to earn, right? Play to earn versus free to play. A lot of times they are free to play, but playing to earn is a pretty big concept. And so in, in Axie Infinity, you can also play to earn. And what that means is earning things like SLP tokens. So small love potions. And those small love potions are actually things you can sell. <coughs> Excuse me. And so those small love potions are things that you earn by playing. And we're going to show you exactly how to do that today. And you could sell them on a marketplace, uh, like a cryptocurrency exchange for real world value. You could sell them for Ethereum or you could sell them, you know, eventually for USDT or whatever you want. Maybe exchange it for Bitcoin. And there are actually people who have been, who, who live in, you know, more impoverished nations or nations where uh, the, the cost of living is a lot lower than maybe here in the United States, where they're, they're earning, they, they've been able to earn more playing Axie Infinity than they would if they were working a regular job. That is no joke right there. So if you guys, if you guys are not familiar with Axie Infinity, 
Uh, there's definitely people, uh, you know, in particular, there's a very big demographic in the Philippines who have been able to play Axie Infinity, even just on their mobile device, and earn enough to, to be almost to be more than what they would if they were working a full time job. So when you talk about play to earn the potential there, I mean, it, it could be incredibly massive, in particular with, you know, uh, um, you know, economic problems that are we're seeing around the globe due to things like COVID lockdown and in general, just, uh, you know, the, the ripple effects that we're seeing from people being locked down, businesses being shut down and whatnot. So that's a little bit about blockchain gaming. If you don't know about blockchain, let me know. I want to know if you guys are kind of new. So uh, kind of like owning a home and having to pay property taxes. Do you own your home? Oh, no, you don't. Try not paying property taxes for three years. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a dang good point. Metal Frags, what's up, man? Making that ball drop and getting that dance party. And thanks for the follow, Metal Frag. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's a great point. Uh, that, that you know, it, it's very similar. You know, you think you own these things, but really, when it, truth be told, you really don't technically own them. Now with the house, yeah, you do own it, and yeah, you, you know, paying if you didn't pay property taxes, you would be levied. But you know, it, it would be a very long process for them to like take your house from you if you weren't paying property taxes. And that, that but you're right. It, you know, when it comes to actually fit, you know owning things, there are a lot of nuances there. But with gaming, we just haven't been able to ever have that. That's not something we've ever really had. But now with blockchain, we can actually do it. And today's game, Axie Infinity, I'm going to show you uh, what that means in this game and how you can play to earn so you can monetize your time in a game like this. So, Bob, Bob Snurds, what's up, man? Thanks for joining us. J to the T up in the house. Marshall, what's up, Marshall? Thanks for hanging out, man. It's good to see you in here. Panda Droid. Who else is in here too that has been one of my my long-term stashers, my stash agents? Pwow up in the chat as well. What is going on, guys? So glad to have you guys here with me. So, uh, you know, for all of you that are new, this is a show that I brought over from Twitch. I was doing this blockchain gaming show here on Twitch uh, for quite some time. And I decided that, you know what, I love Theta so much that I want to. Br I just want to bring all of my streaming to Theta. So that's why I decided, you know, this is actually, I think, only the second or third Secret Agent Stash show here on Theta. But you guys can see that uh, I, you, you, I, I upload my videos. Hey, Johnny QT! What's up, man? Thanks for the follow there, buddy. Making that ball drop and getting the dance party on. I love getting that dance party on, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so we, and then we got our mod in the house, Riz. What's up? Say everyone, everyone say hi to Riz. Uh, he is our mod for today, and he is the owner of CastleCrypto.gg. Uh, why don't you toss that link in, into the chat there, Riz, so everyone can check it out. It's a great site that, that talks about all the stuff going on in blockchain gaming, and you can find out more about all these re really great games on his website. So uh, who else we got in chat? Binky. We got a couple of people here too. Some new Some new faces. Very good to see all you guys here in chat. Crypto Beaver. <laughs> I love it, man. A Crypto Beaver. And Richie M hanging out with us, of course. Thank you guys for hanging out today. So uh, I do have a, uh, some giveaways going on today. Uh, if you look here in the chat, uh, we got, I got an uh, open uh, prediction right now. So definitely uh, jump in that. Do you love mustaches? Uh, you better. You better love mustaches. If you don't, then you're not going to be getting any on this prediction. I'll tell you that. And you might be in the wrong channel. So today, like I said, we're going to be playing a game called Axie Infinity. And uh, like I said, it, it is very, you know, Pokemon-esque, but also kind of combined with CryptoKitties-esque. So uh, pretty cool there. And uh, we're going to jump into it. So uh, the, the, there is, I, 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 I'm having a little issue with Axie Infinity, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, the game won't show up well on my computer all of a sudden for some reason. So uh, I'm going to have to do like a display, which kind of shows everything. So it's going to be a little wonky. And I'm going to have to keep up with chat here uh, and switch back and forth uh, with you guys uh, while uh, while I'm chatting here uh, through this tab. So, Jaeger, thanks so much for the follow, man. So let's get into Axie Infinities and let's play this a little bit. So i got to load the game here and we're going to jump in and play Axie. And I'm going to, I'm going to monitor chat through a different method. Usually I have chat up on the screen and we got it all going. But I got to go full screen on this one, guys. So, uh, the, the, there is... Okay. Okay. 
So uh, hopefully you guys can see my screen uh, because like I said, I was having trouble with the game capture for this game and hopefully this will work. If not, we might have to, uh, we might have to reschedule and uh, do something different here. But um, if you are seeing it and this is, this is up now, you can see uh, this is Axie Infinity and this is kind of your start quest. And these are axes, these little cute blobs of, of fuzzy, furry, horned, yeah, you know, feather tailed looking little creatures. And, uh, you know, they, they all have their own unique aspect assets, uh, you know, so each one of them uh, has different traits and has different, uh, uh, you know, abilities, right? So they do different things. Um, and so, you know, we're going to jump into this. And I'm going to show you this game, but first, what do we got to do? We got to get into disguise guys. You got, we got to get into disguise. I wanted to show you, I just want to make sure this worked though, before I jumped in and started doing a disguise, doing all these things. So, uh, I can see that it does work and we, we will be able to play it. So I just thank you for uh, bearing with me through my test. So before we jump into axes, uh, I'm going to have to what jump into disguise. That's right. So I'll be right back and get into disguise and I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> stasher we're gonna stash our crypto today and i'm the mad stasher and we're gonna do it together so hopefully you can w follow me into the wonderland of axes and we're gonna go and dive into axes now that we're in our, our new disguise we're the we're uh, the mad stasher right you guys can kind of see the whole hat here it is a very large hat it's so big it just it won't even really fit on screen i'm actually surprised that Yes, it it actually shows up here. So, so I, I I am the Mad Stasher, and we're going to jump into Axie Infinity today, and I'm going to show you all about the game and do the dang thing. <laughs> 
hope you guys like this disguise and let's go jump into some Axie Infinity. Okay, so here we are with Axie Infinity, and uh, as we were talking about before, this is a game that, you know, is kind of like, you know, it's a little reminiscent of, of, of something like Pokemon, where you have, uh, you know, it's a card-based system, you have these cute little Axies, and uh, each one of them has different abilities, and though you, you, you set these, uh, you know, your, your team up, so you can, uh, you know, take on the different challenges, whether that be Adventure Mode, which is you playing essentially against the, uh, the PC, which we're going to look at right now first, or arena mode where you're playing against other people. So let's go look at what an Axie is. So here is my team of Axies. And if you guys have seen me play Axies before, I only had three Axies for a while. And then I forgot I had an Axie that someone gave me quite some time ago, a St. Patrick Axie, which uh, is he's so he's brand new. I have not leveled him up yet. So today we're going to level him up a little bit, but I want to show you what each one is. So you can see each one is a unique digital asset and item, and I own these axes, right? So I could go trade these axes in a marketplace. Uh, if they were super rare, I could definitely make a really good penny on these axes. If I, you can also breed these axes, so breeding them uh, allows you to get additional axes, but you have to spend SLPs, which are small love potions, right? So small love potions are uh, are, are the, essentially the breeding mechanism for this game, but you can earn small love potions by just playing the game. Now, of course, they're traded on, an ex on on cryptocurrency exchanges, so you could just go and buy small love potions there if you wanted to. Uh, but in general, most of the, the mechanic is that you earn them through gameplay. So you can see this is Axie number 118973. And let's go look at some details. So... Once again, like I said, you level up your axes as you play, and they have a couple of base uh, uh, attributes, so health, speed, skill, and morale, and all these have different factors and play different factors within the game. And you can see when it talks about, okay, well, each axis is very unique in itself because they have multiple different parts. So they have different types of parts, and you can see uh, Mavis, Small Frill, Green uh, Thorns, cute bunny, little branch, right, which is this feature, and the last one. So all these are, are, are unique features of each Axie, and each one has a different combination, which, which makes for almost unlimited combinations. And so depending on what uh, you know parts they have, that dictates what kind of uh, uh, attacks and other things that they have available to them. So some of these higher level axes, they go for big dollars, guys. So they go for massive amounts of dollars, in, like axes that are called uh, include, called mystic axes, and they have all these high level mystic parts on them, and they have gone for you know hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars. Actually, uh, some of the highest uh, uh, assets that have been sold uh, to date in NFTs in general or in digital blockchain assets have been Axie Infinities. Uh, so it's a pretty cool, pretty cool feature. So uh, if you guys have questions about Axies or you want to help me out here too, because I, you know, I am still fairly new to playing Axie Infinity. I'm not at all a high level player in this game, but there's so much great gameplay in this. And it's something that, you know, even like your kids could play. So uh, if you have kids or your, or, or, you know, you, or maybe your brothers and sisters that are younger, this is a game that they could actually get in, they could play and they could earn because you could actually easily do this on a mobile platform. Uh, I'm playing it obviously on desktop right now, but. It is very much a mobile first uh, platform here. So so this is one Axie. So you see the difference here. So here is another Axie. Um, and this one is a little bit different. And so you can see this one has, uh, you know, it, each each trait, it kind of has a different name for it. You can see. So uh, eyes, ears, uh, horns, mouth. Uh, or no, these are, these are like scales, like on your back. And then horns and then the tail. So you can see it just kind of tells you which which type they have. So he has Mary horns, double talk. And you can see, look, I have two that have Mary horns, right? And so some of them are, are, are similar. So this one has Robin eyes, Mako ears, right? These are like the little like uh, flower ears. And so you can see this one has a little bit of different attributes. So it has different cards that I have available and also different attributes up here. So it's it has a greater health than the, even this third axis. So you can see he has much less health and they're all at the same level. 
but you can see each one has unique uh, unique attributes to it. And these help play in de uh, depending on you know who you're playing, what you're playing against, right? So there's a whole uh, uh, um, you know strategy that there's a high level of strategy in this game as, as, as very cute and cuddly as it seems, there's a high level of strategy in playing this game. And uh, I wish I wish I was at that high level. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I wish I had all the best strategies for playing Axies and Infinity, Axie Infinities. But uh, it's still something that I'm learning, and uh, it's it's not an easy thing to, and not an easy game to learn. So. Uh, yes, this is a mobile game. So this is a mobile first game. So this is something you could go download and play on mobile. Um, I'm playing it on desktop, obviously, because I have to stream it here on desktop. But uh, yes, it is a mobile first game. So tons of people play this on mobile. And when I talked about earlier, uh, when people, when I was saying people could play to earn this, and a lot of people were doing that, most of the time people are playing uh, this game on mobile. I believe. I don't know that. I don't know that the majority of players are actually playing this game uh, on desktop, even though you can. So okay, so you know, you, so right here, this is kind of our, our our starting screen, and so I want to show you another thing. So teams is essentially. Uh, what you have here so you can see that you can create different teams now I only had three axes before but now I have a fourth axis that I can push into rotation here so I'm gonna create a new team uh, with this we're gonna call it stash two. stash do you we're gonna call it stash do you and so uh, you know we're look here at, at kind of some of these stats and what we have going on here uh, you can see overall this St. Patrick one, even though he's level one, he's got really good stats in comparison to uh, all these other uh, these other ones that are already leveled up. So we're definitely going to put him on the team since he's new. And see, this is a great thing. So it actually gives you a little idea of what each one does, like each one of the cards that he has available to him. So we're going to do that. We're going to put this guy here. And then I'm not sure, I think we're, you know, I, I think we might go with this guy here because he has the highest speed of any of the axes. So I think we're going to go with this team right here. Pokemon for the new generation. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think this is something that, you know, a lot of people could really get interested in. Uh, it is digitally focused and it, it doesn't revolve around collecting cards as much as it, it revolves around collecting the actual axes themselves. So, it, you know, if you guys are familiar with CryptoKitties, it has a lot of, of aspects of that, but then combine the CryptoKitties breeding and different traits with actual gameplay. And, you know, that's that's what we have here. So. So there we go. So yeah, look at that little St. Patrick's guy. He look, He's funny. He's got a funny little uh, look to him. So now we set our team here. Right, we set our team and uh, the other button down here I'll show you quick is your inventory. So you can see I don't have much of my inventory. So I have a couple of small love potions and a couple of, um, I forget what these ones are called. Uh, these are some other token that they have in the game. And you know, I, I would like it if you could click on it and at least see what it says or hover over it, but I don't remember what these are for. <laughs> Earn them playing last time I played Axies and you know, like I said, this is a game that I don't play super often, but I want to start getting into playing a little bit more. Uh, it's one of the, you know, it's one of the better games out there when it comes to blockchain gaming and being able to play to earn and then also being able to get value out of it. They, they have been experiencing a massive growth in their user base and for good reason. Uh, the team is incredibly responsive. They're always doing something new or improving their platform some way. They're always, uh, in, you know, including brand new partners and doing something interesting. Uh, and, you know, they, they do these continual seasons. So season 13 just launched and they're doing a, a partnership with Aave Protocol uh, where you can, uh, you can uh, you know, earn some rewards through that partnership. So it's pretty cool too. Rich EM, thanks for dropping that code in there for everybody. Uh, hopefully that that will still work. You know, uh, Incent is actually making a tra transition, guys, from um, you know being something you can easily put in on the computer to only being able to use the mobile app to scan. And the only the only issue I take with that is that if you're watching on mobile, then how do you then go scan it with mobile too? Like it's a really hard it's a hard thing. You know, so if you're using just your mobile only. How do you then, I, I don't know how that works. Maybe you could take a screenshot of it real quick and then you could scan it from a, 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 an image in your gallery. If you guys know how that works, I'd be interested to know because I haven't tested that that portion out. So if you guys have tried that before, 
uh you've got to work on the pc yeah i mean well it's been working i mean it, it was a pc dominant platform up until just recently and now they're like oh the only way to get instant is to scan it using the mobile app but like i said if you're on mobile then how do you scan it on the screen that you're watching like if you guys are watching me on your mobile phone right now how do you scan it on that screen like you'd have to take a screenshot and then zoom in on it right so Jay Saints, what's up, man? Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it, buddy. We're, we're getting ready to play Axie Infinity here. I'm just showing everyone around the game a little bit, and we're going to jump in um, and play some Axies. So uh, one of the other cool things is they have daily quests. So what you can do is if you can earn 50 SLP tokens, uh, small love potions, just by completing the daily quest. And the first one is just checking in. So there you go, one of three. I only got two down to go. So I got to complete 10 adventure mode levels and then I got to win five arena matches. Now that might be kind of hard to do with the arena matches because I don't have a very big team of axes and they're not very high level, but we're going to try and do it today. So we're going to start off by doing adventure mode and see if we can complete 10 adventure modes first. Uh, and then we're go we'll jump into the arena mode and see if we can't do PvP. Now with this kind of game, you can also do like a direct challenge too. So if I wanted to, to do a direct challenge with somebody, I totally could do that. Uh, and it'd be great. Yeah, but uh, Rebecca, you know what I'm saying is if you're using only your mobile phone, I'm not sure how you would point your camera at at your mobile phone. Like, you know what I'm saying? So there has to be some way to do it from a mobile if you're using a mobile app. Like, yeah, if you just have your phone and you're watching on computer or you're watching on a big screen or something that we, where you're not using your phone to actually watch the live streams, then yeah, of course, you would just use your phone and just use your camera and scan it. But I don't know, like I said, I don't know how that will work if you're uh, exclusively on mobile. So if you guys have experience, let me know. Uh, I did not close out the first giveaway. No, the first giveaway is still open right now. Um, as a matter of fact, that's a good point, though. I should go close that out real quick, and we'll do another giveaway before we get started. So let me go do that. Thank you, PWOW, for reminding me. Why We got to get more giveaways going. So I'm going to close this prediction, guys, so uh, we can get this first giveaway going. So if you, if you don't love mustaches, you're losing this prediction for sure. All right, let's close this giveaway and see who is going to be the winner. Oh, so you can enter the number manually on the phone. Okay, that's what I was asking. That's what I was trying to figure out. There's got to be some way where you could do it through through a phone. Jay Saints, why can't you participate in the giveaway, man? Oh, because you don't have any coins yet? You got to have coins for sure to participate in the giveaways. But grats to Panadroid, PWOW on the Riz for getting some, some swag there. Usually, guys, usually I have a giveaway for an in-game item, uh, but I, I, I couldn't get any axes on deck for you guys today uh, from the team, so my apologies. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, get some for next time. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, let's see. What else are we going to do? We're going we're gonna to do some more chests here and some more crates for you guys and open another prediction real quick. All right, opening the prediction and opening the giveaway. Can I get you some AXS? You know, if I had been prepared for that, I probably would have done that. That's a great idea, PWOW, and I will keep that in mind for next time. I'll, I'll do some AXS uh, or some SLP tokens or something and uh, give those away and have that ready. So thank, that's a great suggestion. So thanks for that, PWOW. So all right, let's jump back into uh, Axie Infinity here. And uh, we're going to to uh, jump into adventure mode. Oh, Helium de Gama. Thank you so much for the follow, buddy. Secret Agent Stash here. I'm in disguise so I can go into my favorite blockchain games incognito and they will never know it's me. You miss, you miss me in my Secret Agent uniform, but uh, now I'm in my disguise and we're about to jump into today's game, Axie Infinity, and play. So, okay, here we are uh, on the adventure board for Axie Infinity. And you can see I've already done a couple of levels here. Uh, and so, but we're going to start over from the beginning, from the very first level, so you guys can see how you progress through these 
And I, so that way I can also level up my brand new Axie that I have here on my team. My St. Patrick Axie. He's got the little four leaf clover ears. I love it. All right. Don't be too disappointed if you lose a battle. Your axes are still beautiful. Strength is not everything. <laughs> so, like I said, this is a, a turn-based game. And it's all based upon these different cards. And you can see, here we are in round one with all my axes here at the top. And what order everyone is essentially going to be attacking in. And so you, you have uh, you have different... Uh, um, you have different, uh, you know, orders of what the axes are in. So, as you can see, this guy is essentially tanking. He's in the front, and I probably should have changed that order around so he was not here in the front. Uh, so I have to really think about how that's going to work out. But uh, you know, essentially, these guys are always going to attack what's in the foreground. So you have like foreground, middle, and and like uh, back uh, back end. Uh, and I know those have the specific titles to what they are. So forgive me if I if it, because I don't know exactly what they are. Uh, but they're, they're, you know, they're essentially different areas, and so attacking or doing things from those areas makes a difference uh, where, where they're coming from. So, all right, let's jump in here, and so you can see, okay, so each one of them has their own little cards and what they're going to randomly get. So you can see, uh, you also have action points here. So right now I have four of ten action points, and you can see each card has an action point number in the very top uh, over here, right? So you can see there. And I know the, the the first set of cards here are a little hard to see because my big old head is blocking them. But you can kind of see the first guy, he's got his cards here. And then the second guy has his cards here. And uh, the amount of, of like mana or, or action points you need are at the top. And then what it's like, what kind of damage or or defense it may give you are there on the side. And, and it tells you each one. So deal 100%, 20% damage when chained with another lunge card. So you can do chains with, with a lot of these things uh, and depending on what's going on. So the same thing here, increase uh, crit chance by 20% if chained or comboed with a plant card. So you know if uh, so e each one of these cards have different uh, aspects to them. You can see uh, like this guy is plant, he's a plant axie. This guy is like a water axie. Uh, this guy's an air axie. And once again, I know they have names. I'm, I'm just really bad at all the technical terms on this game. Uh, but, uh, you know, th those attributes ha do play a factor in not only uh, playing against your, your opponent, but in synergizing with the rest of your team. Put the plant axie first, tank, yeah, then aquatic and bird at the back. Yeah, uh, and so that's that, that, that was how I wanted to have it, I think, but I, I need to go reorder that, I think, in, in the actual team. So I think I need to go reorder him in the team somehow, and I'm not I'm not exactly sure how to do that in the team. So I'll have to go back after this round and see if I can reorder him. But uh, thanks, Crypto Beaver. Yeah. All right. So let's go and we'll get through this first round. I think no matter what, um, and we're going to smash on these guys. So we're going to do that first. Like I said, so I have up to four points that I can use this time. But you know you don't have to use all of your points either, which is kind of interesting. So you can always like uh, keep points for the next, and they'll roll over, and you can use them then. So I'm I'm actually going to do that and see if we just have an attack from each one. See, they're coming strong, so they got a bunch of cards coming out for each one of these. And you can see, see all the axes are essentially attacking the one that's in front. Same thing here; they're also attacking the guy that's in front. And yeah, what uh, what Crypto Reaver was saying is that uh, yeah, I know I have to complete complete this match first. So you, you want to have your tank who ends up getting the most defense points uh, here in front uh, because he's going to be able to take the brunt of all of the damage. Okay, and then now, now here's where it gets interesting because these guys are on the same line. Uh, they're going the axie that's going is going to attack whoever's closest to them. So this guy will not attack the guy that's up here at the top. He's going to attack this guy down here, and same thing with this guy. And the middle, I think, is always going to attack the top, I, I believe. So we'll see how that works. We shall see. It's a lot of trial and error here with axes. Not going to lie. I mean, for me, at least. For me. Boom, taking them out. 
So to get the best score, uh, you know, like uh, three stars on any match here. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Uh, in, in, to get three stars in any match here, you want to be able to end the match with all of your axes uh, intact. Boom, crit. Victory! Victory is ours. I love it. Okay, so we are victorious. And you can see now everyone goes up a bit, right? Uh, our our uh, crypt, I mean, our, our <laughs> St. Patrick Axie over here, our, our water Axie, uh, is aquatic. That's it. It's aquatic and bird. So I keep saying water and, and feather. It's aquatic and bird plant. So see, I've gotten one small love potion. And so these, like I said, th those are one of the, the in-game kind of currencies here. And people trade those uh, quite, you know, in, in particular. So here, here's what we got to do. So now we got to change positions for these guys. Um, and let me see. Change. No, I don't want to change him. There we go. Put that guy there. Put this guy here. So I think that'll work. So yeah, these are the different positions you can put them in. So you can put some all the way in the back and then there's, uh, you know, two different levels here and one in the middle. So this is, I think, a better um, layout for the axes. Um, and I'm going off what Crypto Beaver said here because he, he, he definitely uh, seems to know better than I do. Water and feather, yeah. <laughs> it's water and feather, aquatic and bird, yeah. All right, so let's go and we'll go do level two. Like I said, I'm very I'm a novice player to this game. I've really only played Axes one time before, uh, and everyone's like, "Oh, Stash, how could you have only played Axes one time?" Uh, in, in general, I I I, I do uh, you know play other games a lot more than this one, and so this one is a little bit new to me. And there's a lot to this game. Like I said, there's a lot going on with this game, and you'll see as we get here uh, into into playing a couple more matches uh, how much more it is. All right, so like I said, one of the main things we always want to do too here is that tank is always going to hopefully give us more defense. Let's see how that works out. So see, each one of them is kind of working on the one that's on their line, you know, that's, that's closest to them. And yeah, the, the, the middle, the front guy is, is going to the top. Oh, look, I, just five more points and I could have got that guy. Ooh, getting hammered on. So see, now I have a debuff on me, which is not very good. Let's see. Okay, we only need this right here to take him out. And then... Target him with lowest shield win combo with two or more cards. That's cool. So hopefully that will take him out and then we can do a second attack with this. Let's see how that works out. That might not actually work out well because I think the second attack is not going to go through. Yeah, I shouldn't have done two attacks on that. So in, my Axie has no shield right now. Yeah, you play uh, helium plays way too much. Yeah, man, you know, I, I really want to play axes more and I, I like the gameplay like I said, I just need to learn a lot more about the game uh, because right now I'm just kind of I, I, I go off the, the good graces and natures of all of you out there in chat helping me along here. Uh, but uh, it, it can be rough. It can be tough. Dang, what's up, man? Thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, it's a really cool game. Like I said, there's a lot. Like I said, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot that I don't understand in particular, uh, sometimes of why things go a certain way. 
but it's one of those games that you just want to kind of jump into and start playing. Now, the one thing I will say is that you do have to have axes to play this game. So it's not just like you can't just walk on and start playing for free. You either have to buy axes on, on the Axie marketplace or you have to maybe rent axes. You could rent axes as well. Uh, so you, you can't just walk in and, and start playing for free. Uh, that is one of maybe the only downsides of this game, I would say, is that that is the case, is that you can't play uh, this game for free right out the gate. We're just going full board. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like, you know, if you see me doing, you know, as far as, like, questions, definitely have questions as, as far as, like, attack order uh, with things. you Because know, what, what we saw before is that, you know, I thought typically... Uh, whoever's on top is going to attack the guy on top and whoever's on bottom on a bottom slot would always attack the guy on bottom if, they're, if there's two on the same level. So I'm not exactly sure how to target people a little bit more efficiently like that. Another low potion. Well, that's pretty cool to know. Thanks for letting me know that, Helium. Soulbound axes, ones you can't trade. Uh, that you just get like a starter ones. That, that, that makes a, a lot of sense. I think that would bring in a lot more people. Because that kind of is the barrier to entry on this game is you have to buy an Axie. So you have to figure out all those steps of getting in the marketplace and buying these assets first. Uh, or or renting one, right, is also, a, a, you know, a, something you could do. But that is a, a barrier to entry and something that, that I think that, you know, might turn some people off. <clears throat> All right, so now we're fighting against three of these guys. But we're actually, but now this is something new I want to show you guys. <clears throat> that now we're actually playing two rounds. So this is the first round of these three guys. And then after I beat them, there's going to be a second round. And you're going to see this, this little dot go here. And that's going to change. But first, we must tackle these suckers. Got two gas unleashes and then Terra Chomp. I love that word. I love that deck card, Terra Chomp. So, see, as it makes sense, they're all attacking the guy who's in front. But then, you know, the order of like where you would be and what you're going to attack on this next line right here, that's what I'm curious about, which I'm not, I'm not super well versed in. Yeah, I'm not getting any shield cards with this guy. He's not a very... He's not tanking very well for me. Maybe I need to switch out to that other guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you know, rule of thumb is attacking is, you know, it's, it's you know, whatever's closest. That's kind of what I thought. But then it, sometimes it does. It seems like it tricks me. And I'm like, oh, that's not what I thought it was going to do. You know? Uh, and so that makes sense. People in PvP would, would do like a straight line to kind of keep things uh, average. So, the, you know, this guy's always going to go first because he's number one. So we want to, we're going to put two attacks here. Well, actually, let's do this and this. And then this guy and this. Uh, no, you can't win axes by just playing as far as I know you only win things like SLP tokens uh, But correct me if I'm wrong uh, guys. I, I'm I don't you can't win axes by playing But that'd be great I mean, I would love to be able to win axes by playing and that, that would be a great way to really get to it Like so, you know, maybe you can just keep playing and playing and you can win some low-level axes or maybe, maybe you can buy them with SLPs directly through the platform would, would also be pretty cool too. Jay Saints, yeah man, you got to come back and hang out a little bit more and, and, and get some of those, those gold coins so you can enter into the predictions and get into the giveaways. That should be all we need to take this guy out. As long as it doesn't miss. Sweet. So see here now I'm going to the next stage and you can see like this is a pretty big stage So like I'm probably not gonna I'm not gonna finish this with with three stars at this point Because my tank axie here has been taking all the damage and he's not been getting any shields 
So I don't know if I want to switch out this guy for maybe my other uh, dude and see how that works with this team. I might do that after this uh, after this match and see how my old my fourth and only other Axie does in the tank position versus this guy. All right, let's see if we can do some damage here. Jumpman Crypto, what's up, man? Thanks for joining me. You know, Secret Agent Stash today, if you guys are just joining me, uh, I do this blockchain gaming stream. So we feature games where you can play to earn. So your playtime can equate into actual real world value, some sort of monetized value. So that's really important. Oh, there we go. And one axie down, guys. Our tank is down. Uh, and so, yeah, if you guys haven't seen the show before, I always start off as a secret agent and I get into disguise, which now I'm disguised as the Mad Stasher today, right? Oh, my third. <laughs> and, uh, and so we're, we're, we're playing a little bit of Axie Infinity. Following, uh, no, you, you, can, you don't have to, following doesn't cost anything. You can definitely follow me and uh, that way you know when I'm going live and you can earn some more coins just by watching. All right, so this guy is the only one that has stuff up right now, and we want to make sure we don't over attack. So we're going to use those two, and I'm, I'm assuming it's going to go here, because he's the closest. Yep, and the first one missed. Dang it. I'm just getting beat up. Okay, so that's going to go there, then this guy will go for the next one. Boop. Nice. And that healed me a little bit, that one attack I just did, which is great. Now we just got to come at him full force. Yeah, Jay Saints, when you register first for Theta, you start off with some coins and you earn coins uh, every, you know, by watching streams. So the more you watch, the more coins you're going to build up. And you can build up a big bank of coins to help you to enter into all the giveaways. Victory! But only with two axes. So it means I don't get any small love potion, I don't think. Oh, I do. I get one small love potion. But I don't... I, I don't. I already got three stars on this on this uh, level three. But look, I have not gotten three, three stars on this next level. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... Actually... Oh, thank you so much for that sub, man. Kingston Dude 20 coming through with the sub, buddy. Thank you so much. Stash love to you. That's something new. Did you guys not realize? I didn't say anything yet, but I made affiliate here on Theta, and now you can subscribe to my channel. How awesome is that, right? Thank you so much for being my very first sub, Kingston Dude 20. Wow, man, coming through. And you've been a longtime supporter here on the channel as well. So it's very fitting, man. And uh, much love to you for being my very first sub there and uh, making the the uh, the cannons, the confetti cannons pop off there, dude. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, the only other folks that stream Axe here are in the, in Europe, so this is a treat to watch. Well, thanks, Healing Man. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. All right, let's... Um, I'm going to go back. I'm going to trade my team up. And I'm going to... I'm going to create another team that has these two, but with this guy right here, instead of this dude. Stash Max. So we're going to do this guy, this guy, and this guy. And then put him here, this one here, and that one there. Well, we'll put him here. There we go. I'm going to try with this team and see how that works uh, with... Uh, so we're going to do the stash max team. Stash to the max. And we're going to try that in adventure mode here. So let's uh, let's give it a try here in the next in level four.
Thank you, Richie M. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, you know, big deal there. Like, I just made it today, which was awesome. And uh, I'm going to be able to, I'm going to get some some uh, cool emotes going for you guys and things that you can unlock. So, uh, you know, thank you, Kingston Dude, for coming through and subbing right now, man. Uh, I'm going to be adding a bunch of really cool things for all my subs here uh, next week for sure. So check out next week and you'll have a bunch of really cool things unlocked. And for those that want to sub, you're also going to get unlocked some really cool mustache emojis and things that you could drop in chat. How awesome is that? Just, just we're just steaming through here on Theta, guys. Definitely, we, next stop, partner. Yeah, I don't know what happened, guys. Um, I'm not really sure. It just all of a sudden it, it kicked me out of the server, and it was like you, c you can't connect to server. I didn't, I didn't. Yeah, it was like, and he's back. I know, right? I don't know what happened. I'm back here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, all of a sudden it just kicked me off the server and wouldn't let me back on. So uh, I'm glad you guys are back with me here. Um, I don't know what the heck happened. I don't know what happened there, but I'm back. So I'm gonna, uh, while I'm here, good to find you're still going. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm still going. We're still gonna keep, keep playing Axie. Uh, I'm gonna create another giveaway because I just closed the other one. We're trying to test things out and see what the problem was, but I, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't see anything in particular. Oh, Stata went down for a bunch of streamers. Okay, yeah, they, they found out your disguise. <laughs> right, exactly. Like, dang it, they, it's stashed. Put the whole servers down. You can't stop this secret agent. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, but grats to all the winners of the last giveaway. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up another giveaway right now for you guys. Uh, so I know there's a bunch of people who just got kicked from the servers. So uh, hopefully you'll come hang out here and uh, we'll do it. All right, new giveaway is open. No, if I I, I don't I don't uh, in the stream if I'm gonna change disguises I always go to like the the disguise changing screen and the and the and the theme music right of course. So all right, well we got a, I got a new prediction open and we're gonna jump back into Axie Infinity and continue playing. We're right in the middle of a match, I, you know. So I was like, oh, what happened? All of a sudden, I, I got a, I, I saw here on my feed that uh, everything just crashed. Yes, Panda Droid, the sandbox did delay the land sale today. Oh my gosh. Yeah, before we move on, I want to talk about that. So uh, we talk a lot about blockchain gaming and the sandbox is actually one of my favorite uh, up and coming projects. I'm an ambassador for the program or for the for the, uh, the game. And uh, they were having their last pre-sale this morning. I got up at 4.45 a.m. this morning, guys, 4.45 and I try to get it on the sale. It started at 5 a.m. my time, and the servers crashed instantly. No one could buy. Then it was like an hour and 20 minutes later, and they said they got everything fixed, and they got it back up again, and then it crashed again on everybody. But some people could buy, but like very few people. And so now they decided they were going to redo the, the sale. And so that's where we kind of sit now with Sandbox. Yeah, P. Well, I'm still working on that, man. I know that it's kind of a, it's kind of a big change. I really want you guys to be able to earn points. Uh, to be able to do disguise changes because for those who were, uh, were with me on twitch uh you would you would earn twitch points while you were in chat and in channel and you know, by chatting and stuff like that and then once you got to a certain number of points you could redeem those points for me to do it on a screen disguise change and it was one of the things that people really loved and so i have a new system that i think we're going to work out here uh that people will be able to to get and it'll be a little bit different uh but you'll still be able to earn disguise changes and it actually might even be related to some NFTs that I'm working on. Hmm. So keep keep a lookout for that here uh, pretty soon. All right, let's finish these suckers up. All right, so Vine Dagger, Vine Dagger, Vine Dagger, and this, and then Merry Legion. We're gonna go all in. Going all in. No, Jay Saints, the problem was you. I think it was Theta. I think Theta was having some sort of problem. Oh, Riz, you've been trying to uh you've been trying to sub and it won't go through. Yeah, they must be having some problems here with the network, guys. Uh the Theta network must be having some problems. Yeah, they really probably should have just postponed uh, until tomorrow when they had that first problem, but they were like they thought they could get it fixed and they they didn't, so 
Oh, Panadroid, 7 a.m. your time. That's not that's nothing, man. I'm already up and going by 7 a.m., but 4.45 is a little early for me for sure. <laughs> Do I have a Mystic Axie? I wish I had a Mystic Axie. I just have like some low level axes that I got gifted a while back and uh, I don't have, no, I, I, if I had a Mystic Axie, I'd be playing with it right now, for sure. But that's a, but, uh, but uh, Justin, that's a great question, man. Yeah, I wish I did. Those, those things go for big dollars too. You could, you could definitely spend a pretty penny on those. I'm hoping that's going to do enough damage. Let's see here. It may or may not. Nope. I should have gone with this this extra one. Well, he's dead anyways, but still. But this guy's wouldn't have taken so much damage. Okay. Well, we got. He's gonna die at this turn, so I better load. I'm gonna load him up with pretty much everything. Just got an Axies a month ago and been breeding. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've barely been, I've barely scratched the surface on this game, guys. I don't know what the heck I'm doing most of the time. Uh, I kind of get have a basic level concept of what is going on in the game. But to be perfectly honest, there's so many levels. Yeah, I haven't even got, I've done no breeding. I would love to do some breeding. I have a couple of SLPs, you know, kind of saved up now. And so I might try breeding this St. Patrick one here uh, with, uh, with one of my other ones to see what I can get. But... Um, yeah, the, I mean, you, you could just do just breeding and selling, you know, like if you bought some axes and you started, you know, really breeding them and selling some high level axes, you could make some good money by doing that. You know, you could just buy the potions, not even play the game, I guess. I'm not sure if anybody really actually does that, but it's possible. Bob, Bob, how do you download this game on PC? So uh, you just have to go to their website, Axie Infinity's website, and uh, there's a, a thing called a Mavis Hub. So you download the Mavis Hub from their from their uh, your website, and uh, that's how you play the game here on on your PC. Otherwise, you can go get it in like your 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 mobile store. Oh, so Justin, you do exactly that. Yeah, I mean, I think when you talk about some of the cool aspects of this game, even if you didn't really want to battle or do PvP. Uh, you could just be buying axes on the marketplace, breeding them, and then selling them for profits. You know, so there's a lot of aspects to this game, which I think is really interesting. Uh, I definitely want to get into the breeding aspect of it because that is one of the more, um, you know, unique aspects of this game when it comes to like a card-based uh, uh, strategy game. What's a good what's a good resource, Justin, that you would recommend for looking into learning more about breeding and stuff? If you wanna if you wanna um, let me know, that'd be great. Victory! So we're leveling up our St. Patrick here pretty pretty good. We've got another small love potion. And then you guys can see, so what I'm basically just doing here, to be perfectly honest, I'm just kind of going and doing the quest thing. So you can see I've, I've now completed four levels of adventure mode. I got to get to 10 levels of adventure mode and then win five PvP matches. Have people from Axie Chat reached out to me yet? You heard them talking about they were talking about Stash? Get my name out your chat. I'm just kidding. I love it when people talk about me for sure. Uh, I mean, I talk with the with the Axie team. Um, I actually talked about the getting a, a prize for the giveaways today because most of the time when I stream these games, I'll, I'll ask the team like, "Hey, would you like to give away a prize? Uh, like maybe an Axie or whatever, some in-game items." And they just basically said, "Well, you know, you don't stream Axie enough." And we, we don't want to, you know, make it seem like uh, people who do stream a lot don't get, you know, rewards to give away. So basically what they said is, I don't stream Axie Infinity enough, and they only want to reward people who stream Axie Infinity all the time. And I said, I understand that. That's totally cool. You know, I'm, I'm a variety streamer. I don't stream just one game. 
And so I think they just want to maybe give uh, giveaways or rewards to people who just stream just axes, I guess, or maybe stream axes a lot more often. Uh, and so, like I said, you know, I'm definitely going to start trying to stream them a little bit more, but I do try and mix up the games I play because I want to try and give exposure to the entire industry uh, and, you know, up and coming blockchain games as well, not just the same games over and over again all the time. And I only do this once a week, so I can only get four games in per month. And so, you know, I rotate them around and, you know, I'll play I, right now. I play probably about a handful of like eight to ten games. And so you may not see that same game for another month and a half, right? So that's a little bit of a problem I have there. But uh, I wonder what they were saying about me, Justin. Were they saying good things? <laughs> oh, Pwow, yeah, if you have suggestions for games that I should play, definitely let me know and put them in Telegram. Uh, I'm actually, I'll, I'll drop the link for my Telegram here real quick. Uh, while we're ch while we're we're just hanging out here, I gotta go over to chat. So, so uh, yeah, if you guys want to jump in my Telegram, and if you have suggestions uh, about like resources for learning more about Axie, or you uh, you want to uh, send me suggestions for for what games I should play, uh, pwow has been in our our great Telegram group, the uh, Stash Club for a long time now and you can go jump in my telegram group and uh, drop the, the drop it there because i know you can't put links here in chat uh, only mods can so if you guys want to toss something in there definitely uh throw those resources in my telegram group and they're very much welcome there and i would very much appreciate that because i do want to learn a little bit more about playing this game more effectively right and make sure you guys get in on the current giveaway too that's going on right now too. uh hit the little card button next to uh below the the screen there and make sure you get on this current giveaway. Bitcoin to 20K? Mm, possibly. It's it's on a rally right now, guys. If I you know I, I haven't looked at it in a, about an hour or two. <laughs> Is that's crazy, right? About an hour or two. I haven't. Wow, it's at sixteen thousand four hundred thirty dollars. It, it went up like four hundred bucks from the last time I looked at it. Just today. Dang. Bitcoin is on that pump. We're on our way to 20K, guys, and I think it is actually going to happen. I honestly do. So. Hopefully uh, you guys are on that Bitcoin train with me and we can be profiting together. Okay, so back to Axies, back to adventure mode. I like this team a little bit better actually with these guys. I, I feel like this team worked a little bit better with these three versus the other ones I had before. Let's, let's, play, uh, let's play this level one more time and see if I can't get three stars. So I'm all, I'm, that's, what I'm, that's my challenge is always to try and get three stars and this is helping me to work out my strategy on how to kind of like you know play the cards who i what, what i should be attacking with uh, on each level uh etc etc how do you enter the giveaway so there's there should be a little card icon it looks like three little cards right next to the amount of people watching the channel if you click that, it'll open up the rest of the screen and you'll see the, the giveaways there. And to, oh, was that sub? Sub in, who's sub in there? Just, just insane, just saying, just insane. Thank you so much, man, for the sub there, dude. Stash love for you, buddy. I appreciate you, man. Stash love for you. Stash right in the heart. That's what that is all about. Wow, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that sub. Uh, that sub. I, you know, this is a brand new thing for me, being an affiliate and being able to get subs. And so thank you so much for that that one month sub, man. Wow. So yeah, entering is basically just hitting the little card icon there and getting into the prediction and you should be able to uh, jump on that, man. But thank you so much for the sub, Justin. Justin Sane with my with the second sub of the day. Man, I'm going to have to drop some crates on you guys and stuff too for those subs. It's hard because for some reason Axie is not showing up well on my on my OBS, so I had to go to, to display only. Usually I can interact a little bit more in chat and give away uh, things a little bit quicker, but because I have to use this special display mode, uh, it kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Oh wait, no, I don't want that.
So, uh, Bob, you just have to go to AxieInfinity.com, uh, I believe it is. Uh, AxieInfinity.com, and you can download it from there. Uh, Riz, if you're still around, Riz, if you could drop the link for Axie Infinity's website in chat for Bob and anybody else that wanted to, wants to download this game and kind of check it out and get started, uh, that would be great. Thank you so much, Riz. Riz with the mod. Okay, so now you can see that these are basically freebies too, so I might as well just jump in with the freebies here. Because why not, right? And there, there is a strategy to these freebies too. There's definitely something to that. Uh, I wish I was, like I said, I wish I had a little bit more. I was a little bit more up on the strategy G's. But boom, there we go. This guy's good because he has a self-heal attack, which is pretty cool. Thank you so much for dropping that in, in the chat there, Riz. So yeah, you guys can go to AxieInfinity.com and you can download the game there. Like I said, it's not a free-to-play game. You do have to have Axies to play, so you'll have to buy some in the marketplace. But you can probably get some just basic Axies very cheaply, uh, or you can even rent Axies too, so that's also an option. All right, let's see. We need to get our shields back up here, so we could probably do two of these. Hmm. So yeah, there's definitely ways like maximize because depending on what what uh, axes you have, they can combo with each other. Uh, with and you can see some of these cards like if you do if you have a, a you know, if you chain it with another lunge card, right? Then you get uh, you know extra damage or something like that. So there's always uh, there there's a lot more to for me to learn here in particular. Give him a little bit of shields there. Oh, is he going second? Let's see how that works. Boom. Nice. Okay, so see, he did a little bit more damage than I thought he was going to do. And, uh,. And so, yeah, otherwise I would have saved that extra one. Oh, thank you there, Crypto Beaver. So, the cheapest axes are about 0.5 ETH. And so, it's about $70 for a team. So, that's a little pricey right now with the price of Ethereum. Uh, with the uh, price of Ethereum. But um, I made $100 last week playing Axie. Wow. See? And so, so Crypto Beaver, uh, where, wh what, where did that uh, derive from? Was that from getting SLP tokens? Or was that from breeding? Uh, what? Wh how did you make that hundred dollars by playing Axie? And about how many hours did you actually put into this for that one week to make that hundred dollars? I'm I'm just curious as to what like what what it was if you were just selling SLP tokens that you were earning, uh, and, and and how long it actually took you to get to that point. Yeah, combos on the same axie. Okay, yeah, there you go. So you can combo with your 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 chain means two different axes play a, a lunge card, and then it combos if you do it on the same axie. Okay, thanks thanks for that little tidbit of info there, Helium. Thanks for dropping that into my Telegram chat there, Justin. I appreciate it, man. Justin Sane. Only one few hours per day of playing. Wow, that's pretty good, Crypto Beaver. Good job, man. So like I said, was that was that selling SLPs or was that breeding or was that a combination of things? I'm interested to know how you went about that. Boom. We need a crit, crit, crit. Yes! Get that crit going on, and there we go. I got three stars. That's what I've been trying to get here, so that's great. So now I, I knocked another one down with three stars. Oh, and make sure you guys get the incense. Incense is active above. Scan that code. Scans the code, or put it into your thing. Oh, so you're playing adventure mode and just playing it. So getting, so basically getting SLPs and then selling them. Yeah, I make money in arena. Uh, you win seven SLP per win. Yeah, yep. No breeding as of late. That's cool. Yeah. I've only played a little bit of arena, and because I, I like I said, I have a very uh, low experience team. I mean, they're only level five. I don't, I, I don't know what. What do you guys think is a good level to really start playing the PvP, or if it, if it really doesn't even matter? 
you know do you do you think your axes need to be at a certain minimum level to like really compete in pvp or do you think it just you know just jump in and just do it because i mean i play pvp matches but i don't think i lost i don't think i won any of them <laughs> so I, what do you guys think about that 100 slps a day in adventure mode wow that's cool yeah i didn't know that Experience does matter in PvP, yeah, for sure. All right, we're going to move on to the next level here. Because like I said, we're, we're, we're just trying to see if we can meet our daily goal, and that's kind of what we're trying to do today. We can do, If we can win 10 adventure matches and then 5 PvP matches. Just jump in. Beaver says jump in. Yeah, I know it match. I know it tries to match you with people who are low level like that. I just don't know if a lot of people that low level will jump into arena mode or not. Yeah, I knew it. I already knew that it had a matching system. I just didn't know if uh, there was always a lot of lower level players that you could get matched with. Uh, dang, he's just getting smashed on. Wow, that was a really rough start right there. Eek. That was a super rough start, actually. <laughs> oh. Critted him. I mean, that guy may not make it past this this round right here. Twenty four seven stream. What's up, man? Thanks for joining us. It's Secret Agent Stash show today, guys. If you if you're like wondering what what is Stash doing in this weird costume, he's in this weird disguise. What is Stash up to? Well, I do this blockchain gaming stream every Thursday, and so I start off as a secret agent. I'm a secret agent Stash. That's that's me. I'm secret agent Stash. And every blockchain game I play, I have to get I get into a new disguise so they so I can infiltrate the game and play without anybody knowing that I'm a secret agent infiltrating their game, right? So that's why I, today I am the Mad Stasher, and we're playing Axie Infinity. So people who are like, oh, maybe only watch me on Tuesdays for like my cryptocurrency market watch and NFTs, are like, what is going on here? This is weird. Which is very possible. It's very possible that's what you're, you're thinking right now. Boom. And kaboom. Have I checked out Blanco's? Yeah, Justin, of course I have, man. I, I uh, got four Founders packs for Blanco's. I got one of each of the Founders packs that they had on sale. Uh, I don't know if they've sold out yet. Do you guys, I don't think they have. I think they put a really big number on that. And that's what some people were very complaining a lot about is the fact that there was no, they didn't put out the numbers for how many packs, uh, like what the supply was for each pack. And so I, that's why I, I only, I didn't, I could, I would have probably bought more packs uh, of those founders packs if I had known that, but I just kept it. I was like, oh, I'll just get one of each. Right. But yeah, on November 17th, I'm actually pretty excited about it because for two reasons, I think the game looks kind of cool. It's a blockchain based game, so I'll definitely be streaming it. But also, Cyberpunk was supposed to drop that same week, and I pre ordered Cyberpunk 2077, and I was like, oh man, I'm not going to be able to play any of Blanco's because I'm going to be too busy playing Cyberpunk. But then Cyberpunk got uh, you know delayed for another two weeks or three weeks, I think it is. And so now I'll be able to play Blanco's all I want and not feel guilty about it. <laughs> Thanks to PWOW. Yeah, PWOW FOMO'd me into buying more into buying more Founders Packs. So originally, I just bought one. And then, then I saw this, uh, this this FUD going on in chat. And people were pissed about it. I was like, oh, you know, I'll pick up the other packs, uh, the other Founders Packs, just so I have the full set. Yeah, PWOW talked me into it. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Stash love to you, dude. <laughs> No, I don't think they ever put the numbers out. I haven't checked back with the team. If you guys uh, see numbers or, or they, you see that they're sold out, I don't think they're sold out, but I don't think they ever put the numbers out either. I think they were pretty staunch on that. They're like, we're not putting it out. And people were just like, yeah, because there's not really a limited supply. And that's where they were a little bit pissed about that. And I could see that. You know, I could definitely see that as being an issue. 
uh, not being able to to understand like what the supply actually is. Oh no 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 no! Hold on. Uh, Cyberpunk is not tw Cyberpunk 2077 is not a blockchain based game. It is a triple A title uh, coming out from um, uh, Pro CD, CD Projekt Red. It's one of the most antici highly anticipated games of the year, guys. I don't know if you haven't heard of Cyberpunk, man. I'm, I may be streaming it on this channel just for funsies, uh, but not for a secret agent stash show, but just streaming it in general here on Theta uh, because it, it's going to be it looks amazing. All right, well, we're not getting three stars on this one. We, we got some tough opponents here. Okay, so that was enough to kill him. We're not going to get our freebie, so we could have played it a little bit different, but we couldn't have done much else. Now it's game on. Uh, any any of the rest of you guys? Anybody else out there? Are you guys gonna be playing Cyberpunk? Is anyone else uh, already pre-ordered Cyberpunk and they already like, yeah, I'm playing this that game for sure. I know I am. I'm definitely playing Cyberpunk. It looks amazing. I love the work that CD Projekt Red has done, and I'm a little bit late to the game with that because I just recently this year played the, the one of the Witcher titles for the very first time this year. I played The Witcher Three. I'd never played Witcher One or Two. And also, uh, I, I did uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 as well. So, uh, really amazing. They're a great game studio, and their games and the stories they tell are really amazing. So, Cyberpunk uh, also looks equally amazing, and I'm very excited uh, for that to come out. We got three small love potions. Alright, how many, how many have, we, have we done now for a quest? We've done six. So we gotta do four more. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I don't know if we're going to be able to get uh, and win also the matches too. Let's play this one again and see if we can get three stars. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Cyberpunk is 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 going to be a lot of fun. So I, I'm 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 definitely excited to be playing that game. And like I said, I, I might stream it here as just like a special stream. You know, I don't know if you guys caught it before, but like, uh, I, I've, I've also been trying to finish Half-Life Alex, So I have a VR headset, uh, an Oculus uh, Quest, and I've been trying to finish Half-Life Alex, And I've stream I, I did some streaming of that too every once in a while. Cause it's really fun. It's a really great VR game if you guys are into VR. Uh, it's definitely one of the best VR games I've ever played. You can do level one 10 times if you're in a hurry, yeah. I may I may have to go back and do that. I'm just trying to, to get a little bit more experience and some potions here. I'm not in a huge hurry, but uh, definitely want to. Uh, you know, we probably I got about half an hour more to do this, so I don't know if I'll be able to get the matches in. So I may I may go back there and do that. Okay. Ooh, coming strong with the shields this time. I fart in your face. I love when the little axes turn around and fart in their face. It's funny. Gas unleash. Dang it. They're just smashing on that, that lead axe. Oh, I'm out. We'll go with that. Some days you just want to knock them out. Yeah, I get it, man. Nothing wrong with that. Playing level one ten times, just crushing on it. I was just trying to show everyone a little bit of variety of what you got to play through and, and see if we can get a couple stars. But we'll, we'll drop down to, to doing some of the basic levels so we can just get the rest of the ones we need to do a little bit faster. Because obviously these matches take like twice as, as, as much, you know? I'm hanging on by a thread. Ooh, crit. Nice. Shit. 
Just barely hanging on. Cyberpunk is like GTA. I mean, a little bit, I guess. It's. I mean, I guess. I guess you could say it's kind of like a little bit like GTA, but uh, I, I think that all the gameplay and st there's more gameplay and story there maybe than GTA. I don't know. What do you guys? What do you guys think? Do you think you feel like Cyberpunk is close to GTA? I guess it kind of is. It's like an open world style uh, where you know you, you there's there's definitely some really cool cars in there, but there's a lot more going on in Cyberpunk. I think uh, in general. Oh, they're coming at me this turn. Actually, I should have I should have maxed out on my. Oh, there we go. Ooh, crit, nice. That's what I needed. I needed the crits. Oh, broke my shield hard. I'm going down, downtown. We're gonna become strong on these guys. Yeah, this is a hard match here with these guys. More like Watch Dogs than GTA. Yeah, Cyberpunk is, is not an MMO, that's what I'm saying. So it, it, you know, it has a feel of like something like GTA, but yeah, it's not an MMO. It would be cool if they came out with a, like a MMO version, you know, kind of like what they did with Red Dead Redemption. Uh, number two, so you know you you have this whole game, and I have I I I got I have online Red Dead Redemption, but I've not really played it much. But I do like the concept of the fact that you know they have both versions. You can play like the story mode essentially, but then you can also do an MMO mode where you go into the game and it's a multiplayer. I think that's a really cool thing, and so they maybe they'll do that. What do you guys think? You guys think they'll ever add in, in a multiplayer mode to Cyberpunk? Maybe they will. Maybe not. All right, let's go back to level one and crush it. We need like two more. So I can almost no brainer this one. And that's what I've been kind of doing as in general anyways. <laughs> no brainering it. That should be good. Oh dang, massive attack there. Destiny 2. You know, I, I've been looking at I've never played Destiny 2, man. I want, I want actually it looks really cool. It's kind of like a FPS, but it has like some like a little bit of RPG elements to it, right? So like some some, some storyline to it. I, I I Destiny 2 has been on my list of games I want to check out. I I've been I've been like super behind on 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 like backlog of games, guys, for sure. I I was playing, you know what I was I've been doing really? I was playing a lot of Fallout 76 like the last year. I, I really enjoyed Fallout. The Fallout series has always been one of my favorite series. And so I was playing Fallout 76 like a lot, a lot. Like too much probably. I don't know if any of you guys have played Fallout 76. It's the online version of Fallout. And there's there's some people who have some criticisms of it, but I actually really enjoy it. I think there's some really great aspects to it. And I like the in the multiplayer aspect to it especially when they released the wastelanders uh update that's when i like i stopped playing it because i played it when it first came out i got, I got it pre-ordered i played it when it first came out and i was like oh this is great but it was missing something and then they came out with this wastelanders update where they brought in some factions of some actual real people instead of it just being all audio tapes which is a little awkward and uh it was a lot of fun yeah destiny no life until blockchain games you still play Warcraft 3? Warcraft 3 is great. Nothing, no shame in that, man. Uh, when Warcraft, uh, when WoW Classic came out last year, I, I actually picked that up for a second there and I played some WoW Classic and that was kind of cool. Uh, I wasn't a big WoW player back in the day, uh, but um, 
I, I did enjoy, I did enjoy kind of getting a little bit of that classic feel with WoW Classic. So that was kind of fun. All right, I think we need one more, one more match here. What are the games you guys like playing? Blockchain or not, let me know. Let me know what games you kind of enjoy playing. Like whether it's a classic, you know, like there's some there's some classic games like I'll go back and play the Fallout games every once in a while. Wasteland is also a really good one too. If you guys know Wasteland, Wasteland 2, very similar to Fallout in a lot of respects. Those are pretty cool. Um, I got a, I got a bunch of games on my on my system right now. I, like I said, I'm trying to finish The Witcher Three. Still, I have not finished that game. And I I kind of plowed through Red Dead Redemption. I there was so much more I could have explored in that game that I just I feel a little bit bad that I didn't. So I'll probably have to go back through that and play a little bit more too. I wish I had more time for games. You know, this is like my my one weekly time where like I have a set gaming time. I get to play games at least once a week and. I've just had so much else going on with, you know, between crypto videos and running my business and family stuff. Me and the fams are actually getting ready to uh, to go to a winter vacation here this uh, winter, which we haven't done before. We haven't done, uh, well, I mean, with, with the kid. So with, uh, with Mini Stash, uh, we haven't done a vacation with her in the snow yet. And so I think that's going to be a lot of fun, taking her to the snow. And we're going to have to stay in the cabin for about four days and, uh, and do that. You know, it's going to be a lot of fun. So just been kind of, you know, doing the real life stuff and I haven't had as much time for gaming here recently. Clash Dome on Wax. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Uh, I haven't played a lot of Clash Dome. I'll have to jump more into it. That's a good question, P.Y. I'll have to jump more into Clash Dome so I can give you my real actual opinion. Fortnite, Rogue Company. I haven't tried Rogue Company. Rogue Company actually looks pretty cool. Uh, I like the I like the graphics on it. I mean, it's obviously it plays a lot like Fortnite or Valorant, right? It looks very similar. Years ago, <laughs> Riz says he was a Counter Strike pro, but there was no esports or streaming. Yeah, I feel you, man. I used to play like uh, uh um like Call of Duty and things like that back in the day before there was any kind of esports. Uh, Day of Defeat 2 was a really cool one that I used to play, and and, and uh, Half-Life. Um, and yeah, now there's all these eSport games. It's crazy, man. I, I, I kind of jumped off uh, before all that stuff, you know, kind of took off, and I stopped playing video games for a while. And I was playing some other MMO things, like Shroud of the Avatar I got really big into for a couple of years and just put a ton of my life into that game. Uh, if you know Ultima Online, I was a big Ultima Online player back in the day. And then the spiritual successor that Richard Garriott, the creator of the Ultima series, he went on to create this game called uh, Shroud of the Avatar. And I played that and was like super involved in the community and uh, was doing that for, for quite a few years. And so I wasn't playing any other games. I was just playing Shroud of the Avatar. You've done so well with Axes, it's hard to just play anything else most of the time. Yeah, I feel you. That's kind of how I feel with Gods Unchained. So I really love Gods Unchained. That, that, that's that been my, my my blockchain gaming love, to be perfectly honest. Like, that's one of my favorite blockchain games. And I would say probably Splinterlands is my next favorite. And Axes is a pretty close third, but there's a couple others that are vying for third, I would say. You got an email from Gods and Chain to test uh, Immutable X when it starts. Awesome, man! I didn't even get that email. P Wow, how did you get that? I'm gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to tell them like, what's up? <laughs> they'll, they'll, I'm sure they're gonna hook me up. I'm sure I'm on the list. I just haven't looked, but uh, I'm, I'm I'm grandfathered in. Stash is does all the Gods and Chain stuff, guys. You know it. Um, I do giveaways. I actually just dropped a Gods and Chain video just the other day about deck uh, creating strategies. If you guys want to go check it out. Uh, here either on uh, on Theta or on YouTube. Wait, did I upload it to Theta yet? I'm not sure if I uploaded it here yet or not. Yeah, Play to Earn for sure is dead on GU until they get Immutable X out. That is 100% uh, the case. 
it sucks but i'm just saying as far as games like i don't i don't play these games really to like make money i just play them because i really enjoy them it's great if you can make some money on the side too but uh, i just really enjoy playing gods unchained i was i was a huge magic the gathering player back in the day uh, I, I don't play the online version but um but yeah so that that kind of brought some of that nostalgia back for me and you know with the fact that uh, you know when i saw what the other problems were with like games like hearthstone or magic the gathering arena where you don't really own the cards you can't trade them with other people and so you know that 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 sucks to me but blockchain gives you the power to do that and that's what i love about gods unchained you converted your wife over from hearthstone to gods and she's made 1.3 eth in the last few months wow how is she making that much eth with uh just playing was it by is she selling them on the marketplace and and paying those uh gas transaction fees to to do the fusing because that's pretty awesome man i've been i have but i've been not doing any trading because it's like every time i'm trying to buy or sell something there uh you know th that that's been my issue is that i i can't i the fees are so high for ethereum that you're i'm just losing out you know a lot of times so unless you're trading like high level cards uh, I'm not sure exactly what how you how you're making that much, but I want to know your secrets, man. Tell tell, tell your wife I want to know her secrets for making that much ETH uh, while playing while playing Gods Unchained here with the with the high gas fees. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, so we're he's he's going first, but then I'm going second, and third, and fourth. Oh, no. Oh, so you did it before gas fees were getting high. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was doing the same thing, you know, uh, selling fused cards and, and trading and stuff. Uh, some I, I made some really great trades, but I, I thought you were talking about like just recently that she was doing that. I was like, man, I don't know how the heck that is happening here uh, with the gas fees being so incredibly high. Ouch. Ooh. Oof. I'm just getting destroyed, guys. Look at that. Getting destroyed. I haven't even taken one of his guys out yet. Not looking so good for Stash here. You made one ETH in a week breeding Axes two weeks ago. Wow, that's pretty awesome, Helium. Oh, P-Wow. Dude, I didn't even realize the Shadow Draw was last night. Duh. Oh my gosh. I didn't even go check, dude. I gotta go see what I won in the Shadow Draw, because I, I bought a lot of cards, so I definitely had a lot of tickets. Maybe I got something awesome. I'll let you know later. But yeah, that's crazy. I totally forgot the Shadow Draw was lost. I knew there was something going on last night. I, I was telling myself, I was like, Am I, I, I felt like I was missing something. And sure enough, I was. <laughs> I was missing something. Oh! Comes at me. We're both on fire. It's not looking so good here. You got trinkets and a shadow board? Yeah. I'll definitely have to go check those results, man. I, I'm sure it's on their, their blog somewhere. All right, it's Axie versus Axie. I fart in your face. Oh, and he's going first, too, so we'll see how he does here. Oh, he's coming strong. I'm dead. I'm going to die. 
Yep. He's got me. Miss! Miss! Ah! Oh. Nothing I could do. I'm defeated. New rating, negative 15. You gotta love a board, three board and trinkets. Yeah, when you forgot about the, yeah, you jumped out of bed. I know, if I had remember, I totally would have jumped out of bed because I saw them uh, jump online last night and they were streaming. I was like, oh man, it's dinner time. I should probably catch this Gods Unchained stream. And I was like, oh, I, you know, I, I just totally side space, uh, uh, sidetracked, got sidetracked and forgot that they were doing this shadow draw last night. Hopefully, hopefully I got the good card. Wouldn't that be awesome if it was me? If I was the one that won the uh, the the shadow, uh, the limited edition, the, the one on one card. Is it the Citadel? I think it's the Citadel, right? I forget which one it was. All right, guys, this is going to have to be the last round here. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get to five wins with my team teams. Um, so this is going to be our last fight. Last fight of the night. Oh, dang. Critted me right off the bat. That's a cool looking axe. He's got like a little fish hook in his in his mouth. <laughs> the designs for the axes are actually really cool. You know, they're they're very simple, but uh, really cool and effective with with the look and stuff like that. Scholarship teams, huh? Oh, yeah, I guess yeah, like, like I was saying before you can't I knew I knew you could rent axes So uh, that's pretty cool. That they get a part of the of the actual uh, percentage of SLP That way you can earn enough to uh, ETH to buy your own, but just renting. That's pretty cool Some charge terrible rates <laughs> I should rent my axes out when I'm not playing that would make sense I don't have a lot of axes, so I, I don't know if I really want would want to do that Good way to try for free. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, definitely, you know, renting some out like that. I, I I thought you still had to pay some sort of rental fee, but it's just a percentage of the SLP that you're earning, which is pretty cool, actually. That's a pretty cool feature. Boom. Take him out. Take him out. Take him down. 35%, yeah. I mean, that's that's okay. I mean, that's, that's not bad. I guess if it was a little bit more than that, I'd be a little bit pissed off, but... Oh, he's coming with big shields this time. Ooh, dang. That was a massive attack right there. I'm going down, down, down. Okay, let's see here. Self heal. See, he was saving up because he wants to smash on me. So close. I just got a little self heal, but he goes first, so I'm kind of screwed here. There's not much I can do, I don't think.
Oh, so yeah, he self-healed too. Dunzo. <laughs> Blockchain games breed the greed. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good like little saying right there. It's true, you know, when people, when there's money at stake, man, you know, some people will do some pretty, uh, underhander, 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 underhanded things. <laughs> underhanded things. It happens. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today and hanging out for the Secret Agent Stash Show. That's mission complete, guys. Congratulations, we did it. Mission complete. All my agents that have been hanging out with me today in chat. Thank you so much for your support and for all the Axie players who have been giving me a little bit of advice here. You know, this is definitely a game I want to get more into. But like I said, it's just, you know, I, I haven't played it enough and I haven't researched it enough to really know all the different assets and, 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 and things going on there that, uh, you know, really make the game what it is. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Uh, I'm going to close this last prediction. You guys, What do you guys think? Bitcoin 20K? I think so. I say yes. And hopefully you say yes too because I'm about to close this prediction and see who wins. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And there we go. Congrats to Justin Sane, Jay Saints, and Jumpman Crypto. The rest of you guys stick around. I'll drop some stuff on you too. So if you guys were here hanging out with chat me, I'm definitely going to uh, drop you guys uh, some things here. So. Well, that's all we have for today, folks. That's mission complete. Secret Agent Stash over and out. I'll see you next time.